Next on Wood Songs is the brilliant musicianship with the Matt Flinner Trio and country music star Janie Fricky and her friends the Roys. He's a heartache, looking for a place to happen, looking for a little action, living for the moment, not for loving. He's a heartache, looking for a place to happen, temporary satisfaction, if you try to hold The television broadcast of the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour is made possible in part by Kentucky Proud and the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, supporting Kentucky-grown farm products used worldwide and in your hometown. Acoustic Rainbow, introducing songs from independent artists and small labels to over 1,200 acoustic format radio stations worldwide. Online at AcousticRainbow.com Support is also provided by viewers like you. Information on how to become a Woodsongs partner and support the growth of grassroots music is online at Woodsongs.com And by Insight Communications Providers of cable, high definition television and broadband internet service Here on the Louisiana Hayride His name is Hank Williams The best <laughs> on the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hucker, Michael Jonathan. Welcome to the historic Kentucky Theater. 
It's so nice to see everybody assembling here in the uh, beautiful room that we broadcast our show from. Every single week, we're coming to you from the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city to the magnificent Appalachian Mountains, Lexington, Kentucky, where so much art and music does happen here, especially a lot of uh, bluegrass and old-time music. And we do celebrate all this stuff on our show, all this folk music stuff, uh, for whatever word you want to call it. We liken this grassroots music world to a precious diamond and like a diamond, it has many different facets. It's folk and blues and bluegrass, country, Celtic, old-timey, new singer-songwriters, even rock and roll, and sometimes even opera and classical music. We celebrate it all as part of this folk diamond, and artists come from worldwide to be on our stage. You don't have to be famous to be on wood songs. You just have to be very, very good. And we love established artists that are doing amazing and adventurous things with their careers and their music, and we're getting to do that. Uh, this, uh, this particular broadcast, we have two artists on the show, but the first person that we're going to introduce has got a brand new record where she's taking the big, huge hits that she had in country music and using them as part of the uh, bluegrass uh, style and the bluegrass genre. And she, she's had amazing uh, records in, in, uh, in her uh, past. Uh, here's a, a, a bit of a sample. This is a, one of her big hits called uh, It Ain't Easy Being Easy. Check this song out. Oh, no, that song. In the 1980s, she was one of the biggest artists. She was Faith Hill before there was Faith Hill. And here's another song she had called He's a Heartache. She was CMA Female Vocalist of the Year. She's won all kinds of awards, and she's got a brand new record out called The Countryside of Bluegrass. She's here with a bunch of musical friends. We're going to introduce them, too, as the hour goes on. Please welcome doing a song from that album called You Don't Know Love, the one and the only Janie Fricky to the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Thank you all Thank y'all so much. Great to be here with you all tonight. Thank you very much. Uncontrolled desire You were always hanging Just above the fire Now and then you come Close enough to just stay warm And you think that you win Cause you never give in And you never been burned Oh, but you're gonna learn That you don't know love Till it's chilled you to the bone Something I would like to know And I'm feeling that I'm finally crossing the line But it won't be long Guess I've known all along That you don't know love Till it's chilled you to the bone
from her brand new record, Countryside of Bluegrass. Janie Frick, it's nice to have you on the show. Thank it's you for coming It's great to be on. here tonight. You look so beautiful, Thank all you dressed so up much. and so lovely. Oh, it's so much fun being here. Thank you for inviting us. You, uh, you uh, made a, a lot of noise in Nashville when you hit town there in the, in the mid, early mid-80s. I mean, that must have been a fun ride for you. I, you weren't well, necessarily you. expecting that to happen to you, did you? No. In fact, I was a studio singer and a backup singer, and I was mighty fine doing what I was doing, being a studio technician, but... The offer came. Uh, they had to talk me into signing a contract, but I agreed to go ahead and start recording on my own. So few artists get <laughs> signed to a record label anymore. I mean, there's just, just not that many record labels right. to sign to. So you were, you were there in the days where, where an artist was discovered and signed and given a contract, and they would stick with you for two, three albums to see if you'd you know, catch right. fire and stuff like that. What was the process? You were sitting at a kitchen table and got a phone call. How did it happen? Actually, I was standing backstage at one of those radio seminar shows, and I was singing back up behind all these other stars, and the president of Columbia Records came up and said, are you going to sign this contract or not? And I said, let me think about it. I'm going to go talk to the president of the union, AFTRA, and then he advised me, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so I finally decided. Now, you're an Indiana try. girl, right? Right, I'm from Indiana Grew up in Indiana. Our neighbors to the... Yes, North North, right? yes. So you were from a musical family? I mean, was right. Mu my dad loved to play guitar, and my mother played a lot of piano. So I picked it up from, from them, and we did a lot of singing at the house. And the they really encouraged you to stick with the music, didn't they? You know, they let me do what I kind of wanted to do, but I was a college student at the time, and I dropped out a couple of times to pursue singing, but they said, you need to go back and get your degree. So, so I, I finally took six years to get that elementary ed degree. So you're an elementary school teacher. I've by never trade. used it, though, but I got it. <laughs> it looks that actually good. is helpful in the music business, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, working with kids. <laughs> That's right, especially when you you're on tour with Josh right. Williams playing the guitar there. You know that oh, absolutely. Elementary school technique. This is a treat tonight, all these super musicians up here on the stage. We're going to introduce them all as the, uh, as the hour, and she's put together a dynamite band of uh, bluegrass artists, and she's reinterpreting her own hit records as bluegrass songs. Where did that idea come I from? I want to say thanks to a great PR firm and management, uh, Webster PR in Nashville, Tennessee. Kurt Webster, yeah. Kurt, he has taken this idea, and he and Jeremy and all of their team have taken this and created this wonderful new option for all of us. They've uh, packaged me with the group called the Roys, which mm -hmm. I just love all of them. And I'm so fortunate that this is happening during this time period, mm -hmm. uh, last year and going on into this year. So we're, we're having a great time. Well, let's get another sampling of this okay. record. It's a beautiful album, beautiful album cover. Doesn't she just look absolutely lovely there? It's called Countryside of Bluegrass. This is one of her big hits. He's a heartache. It's Janie Fricky on the Wood Thank Song. You. Old time radio. Thank you all very much. But a little crazy is kind of nice He's a heartache Looking for a place to happen Looking for a little action Living for the moment, not for love He's a heartache Looking for a place to happen Temporary satisfaction If you try to hold Not likely, but I wouldn't mind just one more night. If he wants to hold you, let it be. Don't pass up the opportunity to know him, cause you won't forget him all your life. But whatever you do, be wise enough not to fall in love, cause he's a heartache looking for a place to happen, looking for a little action. Living for the moment, not for love. He's a heartache, looking for a place to happen. Temporary satisfaction. If you try to hold on, he's gone. He's gone. Looking for a little action, 
Janie Fricky from her brand new record, The Countryside of Bluegrass. If you want to know how to make uh, Janie Fricky's music part of your home music collection, we encourage you to go to woodsongs.com, click on the archive page. This is show number 653. We'll tell you everything you need to know about Janie, her bio, her tour information, how to make her, uh, her new CD part of your own collection, as well as the next artist, who uh, we got his record. We were just amazed by the incredible musicianship. He started out as a banjo player. He's now recognized, certainly, as one of America's master mandolin players. He's got a brand new record called Winter Harvest, and this is a song called Raji's Romp. Please welcome the one and the only Matt Flinner to the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio.
It's the Matt Flinner Trio. The song is called Raji's Romp from his new record, Winter Harvest. Matt, it's nice to have you here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. It's great to be here. John. Oh, it's great to have you here. And uh, Eric Thorne on upright bass doing the impossible with a fretless instrument. And what can we say about Mr. Ross Martin now? That's some tasty Martin guitar work there. So, Matt, let's talk about uh, your, your early years. You, you were playing the mandolin on the broadcast. You started as a, as a banjo player. Yeah, yeah, I started playing banjo when I was about 10 years old, and uh, mandolin came a little later. Your older brother had a little bit of a hand in that. Yeah, I've got an older brother, Rex, who taught me how to play. I, my dad was a big bluegrass fan, and we lived in... Salt Lake City, Utah, which was, uh, of course, a, a real mecca for bluegrass music. And, um, hey, we're on Utah Public Radio. Let's say hi to all the uh, statewide. Well, I, actually, there, there are a lot of great musicians out there, and uh, there was <laughs> enough of a scene to, to, to play in, which was great. Now, your dad, um, didn't your dad have a bluegrass show? Yeah, he, he actually, their little, little community radio station uh, got started, needed a bluegrass host, and they heard that my dad had a bunch of records. From so somebody. Wh who were you, the young 10-year-old banjo player, who were you listening to for inspiration back then? I uh, started out with, uh, like, Doug Dillard and Earl Scruggs, of course, and people like that. And then I got to be a huge Alan Mundy fan. Mm. And then, of course, Bela Fleck came along, and I tried to copy everything he did. And, and that's, when you, that's when you converted to mandolin. That's wh exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. Yeah, I just, it's like, well... I think I'll leave that to him and see what I can do on this other thing. You know? well, it's pretty, well, we're, good. we're not going to uh, not brag on you either. We got to let everybody know that uh, Matt won the National Banjo Competition in Winfield, Kansas at the Nationals. Uh, so you, your banjo work certainly was recognized. But now let's talk about your mandolin. What kind, of, what kind of mandolin are you playing here on the show? This is a Gilchrist mandolin, which is made by Stephen Gilchrist, uh, an Australian guy. And uh, something about the wood and the air or something out there has made it a, him a great builder. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's a copy of the old 1920s Gibsons. Right. The, the so it's the F, F, F style yep. body. What, what kind of strings are you playing on? Well, I just use uh, D'Addario medium strings, and they're, they work. It's just straight out well. of the box. You're not flipping them out and changing them no, out. No, I, like I like what they put out. Just yeah. the D'Addario mm -hmm. strings. And yep. what kind of pick? Is it a legal pick or is it an illegal pick? This is... This is costs about fifty cents. What? <laughs> it's totally legal. Totally legal pick. Okay, so, yep. so what we're going to do is we go through the second half hour. You're going to uh, uh, perform more with the with the trio as you're about to do, and <coughs> and you're going to give us a little uh, mandolin lesson. Since we have time, we we're going to do this in the second half hour. Let's talk about that now. We've got about one minute. You can give a global one minute mandolin lesson to <laughs> encourage. All these people in Utah desperately wanting to <laughs> play bluegrass music. Absolutely. Well, if you play guitar, you've got a good head start. I know there are a lot of guitar players out there. And as far as the right hand goes, it's the same. You just get a pick, get a, get a mandolin that works, learn three chords. Learn your G chord. <laughs> don't do that, first of all. Don't do that. Learn your C chord and learn your D chord. Now this start is playing. Two, you're using on your left I'm hand. Using you're using two fingers. Two fingers you only need fingers. two fingers. You don't need your pinky all that much to start out with. And uh, I don't know how much description I should go into, but if you find, you can find all kinds of instruction online for, for this. So those three but chords, you're, you're playing a thousand songs. At least, yeah. Yeah. Probably ten thousand. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to find out what you've done with these uh, three chords and these two fingers on this next song from his CD called Winter Harvest. It's a tune called Bitter Root. It's the Matt Flinner Trio on the Wood Song. Old time radio. we 
beautiful song called Bitter Root from the CD Winter Harvest, the Matt Flinner Trio. We're going to play more with uh, Matt and his uh, beautiful mandolin. We've got country music star Janie Fricky here with the Roys. We've got great music, great conversation to go. We will be back right after this. <laughs> Hi, this is Judy Collins, and you're exploring the world of grassroots music with folk singer Michael Jonathan on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And there's a good friend of ours, Judy Collins, folk legend, one of the inspirations for one of our guests, Janie Fricky, country music star herself. Used to listen to Judy Collins and uh, Joan Baez. We're going to talk to her here in a few minutes. We've got the Matt Flinner Trio. Matt, of course, a uh, national banjo champion. He's on the show tonight playing his uh, mandolin. We'll get back to there music shortly. We are broadcasting worldwide on over 505 radio stations. We're on American Forces Radio Network, broadcasting in 173 nations and every U.S. naval ship at sea. And we want to say hello to every man and woman out there working hard. She has a beautiful new album called The Countryside of Bluegrass. It's all her country hits. Uh, done with the bluegrass texture. She's got a, a great bluegrass band with her, the Roys. We're very proud that they're here. We'll introduce the musicians separately in our next break. But right now, from her brand new CD, this is a song called Goodbye, Broken Heart. It's the one and the only Janie Fricky on the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio. Thank you. It's called Countryside of Bluegrass. Janie Fricky. Now you've got this beautiful band of musicians, yes. the Roys, and they've they've been on the show before. So yeah. So I have Elaine Roy singing and, and playing acoustic guitar, sitting in for a brother Lee who couldn't be with us tonight because uh, of family issues. Uh, Josh Williams, the great Yay. legendary to be, Josh Williams on the acoustic guitar. Clint White doing monster fiddle work, yeah. doing the Michael Cleveland thing. Harry Clark uh, doing a mandolin. Sterling Massat. Did I say that right? Yeah. Sterling Massat. Is that right? Massat. Massat. Okay. Uh, playing a beautiful banjo back there. And Zach Harden doing the solid, rock solid, upright bass. Yeah. 
So how did you pair up with the Roys? How did that happen? Well, this happened just a while back when this project came out and we decided to uh, take it on the road. Well, Kurt Webster and, and his team decided they had, had been working with the Roys and they have their own career started. Mm -hmm. It's just taken off great. Uh, they won a super award recently and they've got TV show plans in the future, all kinds of wonderful things. So I'm very honored to, to be able to work with them on some shows that we are, are packaging together and it's going great. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit more about your early days and the okay. way things compare now. When you signed... Um, record labels were, you know, they were signing Clint Black and, yeah. and, and Garth Brooks was getting signed about the same time you were having hits and stuff like that, yes. right? And, mm -hmm. and, and, and Kenny Rogers was doing great and, and uh -huh. the, the, the record business was okay. Mm -hmm. It was healthy. Music was. Row was healthy, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. It's different now. I'm not saying it's unhealthy. I'm saying the business model has changed drastically. It has. And, yes, it and, has. And so, so... It's hard for a young artist to get signed. Mm -hmm. I would imagine it would be. It's yeah. hard for record labels to release an artist because essentially, short of the independent record stores, there's no record store chains anymore. So you know, that is hard to believe. But when you look at the whole picture, it, but modern technology, I keep saying this, it's changed everything. You know, I mean, you can't even, it's just, well, we could go into that in a whole other subject, but it, it has changed the life of the music business. It's changed a lot of lives. And there's no stopping uh, modern technology, computers, um, the internet. There's no stopping that. But it's it's a whole different technique now. The way an artist or a, a talented person would want to start their career, and how they would get it out there to be seen. There's maybe it's it's easier in a lot of ways because of the internet and because of shows like this. So, but it has definitely changed. There's a whole different ball of wax uh, on how to approach it. The formula, so I would say, the formula of a great artist yeah. and a great song getting in front of a great audience, that has not changed. Right. There's still audiences everywhere. Right. And a good audience, too. Right here, tonight, and down the block, there's going to be audiences so you, always. So you, do you really think this works? Absolutely. Because your next song yeah. is called Tell Me a Lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's still lies out there. Oh, yeah. There's still a lot of lies. What a segue. <laughs> Thank you. The CD's called The Countryside of Bluegrass, and the song is Tell Me a Lie. It's Janie yes. Fricky on the Wood song. Thank you. Old <laughs> time just got into town Even though I've seen you here before Just hanging around Ooh, tell me a lie Say you're not a married man Cause you don't know I saw you Slip off your wedding band Tell me a lie When you take me home Tell me a lie I don't really want to spend the Tell me a lie Don't worry about my sorrow You'll be long gone tomorrow And you won't have to see me cry Just tell me a lie Tell me a lie When the night is almost over And make it easy on us both When it's time for you to go. Come on, tell me a lie. Say you'd really like to stay. Just tell me one more lie. And that you'll be back one day. Tell me a lie when you take me home. Tell me a lie. I don't really want to spend the night alone. Tell me Mm-hmm. 
Janie Fricky on stage with the Roys from her CD, The Countryside of Bluegrass. And I told you, I get a lot of uh, email a lot of times during the show. Here's one that just popped in just like this second here. Hey, Michael, this is Lee from the Roys. I just wanted to say I'm watching online. Really wish I could be there. Please tell everybody, including my sister, that I said hello. <laughs> Lee Roy. If you want to know more about Janie Fricky and this wonderful album, The Countryside of Bluegrass, just visit our website, woodsongs.com. Click on the archive page. This is show number 653. While you're there, check out the webcast. You can watch our show live as it happens when we tape the broadcast. So all the information is right there. Our next artist is up and ready. His new CD is called Winter Harvest. This is a tune called Wheels. It's the mighty Matt Flinner Trio on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio.
It's a great album called Winter Harvest. Unusual song called Wheels. So Matt Flynn, are you 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 your your group you're you're based in Tennessee. Yes, right. I am. Yep. And and your uh, amazing uh, acoustic guitarist Ross Martin, he's now based in uh, Brooklyn. Yes. Uh, New York. New York. Not, <laughs> Not Tennessee. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, who used to be from Janie Fricke's hometown of Dallas. And uh, and then you have uh, Eric Thor. Matter of fact, I want to talk to Eric for a second. Eric, why don't you come over to the to the microphone? Uh, amazing job on the upright bass. You're doing a, such a solid play. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're doing some unusual runs for an upright bass player. I mean, you're... you're, you're yeah, it's you're poor technique, I think. No. Be. I'm just gonna <laughs> Your fingers must be made of steel because, I mean, you're <laughs> very intonated. Oh, well, thank you. D doing a fretless yeah. instrument and stuff. Uh, yeah, I just go for whatever I can get at this and point. It's well, uh, briefly tell us about your bass. Your bass... It's a, it's a, it looks like a normal doghouse bass. From the front, from yeah. From the front. But it collapses into what is essentially a large suitcase. It's kind of a lunchbox. I can keep sandwiches in here if I need to. <laughs> it, uh, no, seriously, I mean, the thing... It does. Yeah. Come I apart. Can, and, I yeah. mean, you don't, you don't have to do it now. I don't want no, you to I lose can, your uh, tuning. Well, I can do this much, but, uh, but you know, the back comes off. It all oh. folds together. And it, uh, you know. That's where you keep your spare socks. I know what's going on in there. Right? If I had some, so he just pulled. He just, he just, he just, he just pulled the back end of That's his right. bass off. So. But it, uh, it gets on an airplane a little easier. And, uh, well, yeah. we've got a treat for the audience. We want to get into the next song right away, so we make sure we have time for this. But we're going to go back into one of Matt's earlier albums called Music Du Jour, and this is a tune called "Tell Me One More Time." It's the Matt Flinner Trio on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio. <laughs>
Ross Martin on acoustic guitar, Eric Thorne on upright bass, and there's a fellow sitting in the uh, theater audience who, uh, who wrote me uh, an email and said, oh my God, I can't believe Josh Williams is here. This is so awesome. So we're going to invite Josh Williams to stand up, and he's going to play a duet. He's going to play a rockin' duet with Mr. Matt Flinner on the uh, mandolin. So Josh Williams and Matt Flinner, go for it. <laughs> Josh Williams on guitar. Wasn't it great having the Matt Flinner trio on the broadcast? And the wonderful Janie Fricky, Nashville country star. Music is a wonderful, passionate thing. You see the sheer joy that Janie Fricky she, she's been all over the world with her music she has huge hit records now she's doing something very adventurous and wonderful with it by merging her great big hit songs with bluegrass music performing with her friends the Roys and Matt Flinner what Matt Flinner and the trio is doing with their music just absolutely adventurous and wonderful and you know he described it you know two fingers three chords isn't it amazing what you can do with that <laughs> This is absolutely amazing. So here's what I want to encourage you to do. I want you to take your little three chords, and I want you to take your little songs that you think are not that important. I want you to sit on your living room couch, and I want you to play them to your children. I want you to make music a family thing. Just like it was Janie's family and Matt's family, I want it to be part of your family. That is the true joy of music. There is no greater stage on earth more important than your living room couch. My name is Michael Jonathan. I am a folk singer. I am a tree hugger. And we'll see you next week on the Woods Songs Old Time Radio. You've been listening to Witch Songs Broadcast number 653. Michael's opening song was Ghost from the Front Porch CD with Steve Franken on viola and special guest Eric Thorin on upright bass. Thank you for tuning in. There are so many talented artists that appear on our stage. It's very hard sometimes to pick the ones that appear on our TV broadcast. So what we're going to do is leave you with a performance from our huge online archive of past shows. We'll see you next time on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio.
on his breast and he earned his good rest paid seventeen dollars a night in the mines in the mines and the blue diamond mine i work my life away in the mines television broadcast of the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour is made possible in part by Kentucky Proud and the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, supporting Kentucky-grown farm products used worldwide and in your hometown. Acoustic Rainbow, introducing songs from independent artists and small labels to over 1,200 acoustic format radio stations worldwide, online at acousticrainbow.com. Support is also provided by viewers like you. Information on how to become a Woodsongs partner and support the growth of grassroots music is online at woodsongs.com. And by Insight Communications, providers of cable, high-definition television and broadband internet service.